We'll give that. To, we'll give Jack Swords Dance. Oh. We're staying. Something that I've noticed about Let's Go that makes me really happy is that they get size proportions right for the Pokemon. You outspeed me. What is up, cool kids? I'm Cool Trainer Gab, and welcome to the next episode of the Pokemon Moon Cool Lock Challenge, played on the Citra Emulator for PC. Last episode, we skirted on over to Executor Island over yonder. Um, and scooped up the moon flute. So we are headed to the innards of Bass Pony Canyon uh, to see what we can see and oh, try to awaken the legendary Pokemon Lunala. So if you're excited for that, we may, we might actually get to that today. Vast Pony Canyon's long, but not incredibly long. Um, so I don't know, I kind of want to do a team recap. I will do a very, very brief team recap because only one thing has changed. Oh, we didn't add anybody new. Um, I did think about it, but we didn't add anybody new. Uh, we have Fozzie, our level 58 Arcanine, with Lunge, Super Fang, Giga Drain, uh, Flamethrower, and Intimidate, holding the amulet coin. Bully, our level 57 uh, Tyrantrum. Uh, the Mart on, in this uh, in Seafolk Village uh, has the TM person. And they were selling Rock Wrecker. And Bully could learn it. So, Bully now has Rock Wrecker with the Rocky MZ, which is going to be incredible. Um, so, we have Bully, our level 57 Tyrantrum with Rock Wrecker, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Crunch, and uh, with a strong durability, holding the Rocky MZ. Klaus, our level 55 Obama Snow with Sing, Blizzard, Ice Shard, and Woodhammer, holding the Obama Sight. He's a big boy. Uh, we have Marshall, our level 58 Scyther with Fake Out, Swords Dance, Fury Cutter, and Wing Attack, holding the Eviolite. Jack, our level 57 Samurot, with Close Combat, Razor Shell, Aqua Jet, and Revenge, holding the Phytanium Z. And finally, Talos, our level 57 Agron, with Spikes, Close Combat, Iron Head, and Rock Slide, holding the Hard Stone. So yeah, um, I'm excited to try that out with Bully, because Bully has not really done all that much for the team. So I'm excited for him to be the powerhouse that I know Tyrantrum is, because I love Tyrantrum. If I remember correctly, we're starting off with a an important trainer battle. You're from Team Skull. What is it you want from us? Here they come. I heard about you numbskulls at Ether. Do you really know the way to save our boy Guzma? We can make you talk, even if we have to cut you to the bone. You're gonna battle us? We're trying to save... We're trying to get Guzma back, and you're just trying to out- You're just out here trying to fight us, Jander Grunt. Are you gonna be a Mega Camera up? Probably. Um... I'm definitely not staying in here. Ooh. Yeah, I guess we just, we just go Jack. Jack is the only thing we have for this. It is not a Mega Camera out. Interesting. I wonder if Aqua Jet would kill, but we're not going to try it. They're definitely right up there with us in levels now, though. So maybe I will have to go back and fight some of those trainers in the Pony Wilds in between episodes. Swords Dance. Um, I'm okay with getting rid of Revenge. Just because it makes us go last, and it, it requires us to get hurt to do any good damage. So, we'll give, that, we'll give Jack Swords Dance. Oh. We're staying. Yeah. 
Something that I've noticed about Let's Go that makes me really happy is that they get size proportions right for the Pokemon. You outspeed me. I'm so sad. Okay. Um. What to do against a Dialga? So I have to recharge this turn. Let's go Bully and Earthquake it. I think that should make it Roar of Timeless again, and we can swap to Agron and then close combat it. And between an Earthquake and a Close Combat, that should probably kill it. You outspeed me. Why do you outspeed me? I'm four levels above you. And you're a Dialga. If you Earth Power me, I swear to God. And I guarantee I just spoke it to life. Agron's gonna die now. Thank you. That's a lot of damage. Please kill. Thank you. <sighs> Bully learns head smash right now. Um... Rockcracker's 150. Head Smash is also 150. It's less accurate, though. You now, we have the TM for Rockcracker, so if I feel like I don't like Head Smash, I'll just get rid of it. Bro, I'm so sad. Your heart hurts. Bro. Do we have to fight Plumeria right now? Okay, so you cut me to the bone. Ouch. Bye. Doesn't matter. We'll come at you with all of our Pokemon at once then, little home slice. We'll give 200% to save our boy Guzma. I am so sad. Team Skull Grunt. Okay. <laughs> I, I see how this episode's going. Um, we'll just flamethrower. We're bulky. We're an arc nine. That had me shook for a second. And as I was saying, um, the, the size proportions in Let's Go look like they're much more accurate. Because it shows the trainer, or the player, um, there, there's like a you know, pre-release screenshot with a, an Alolan Executor on the field. And the trainer doesn't even go up to the top of where Executor starts to like become the actual like skinny tree part. It doesn't even go up to like the bottom of that part. So it's accurate to size, which I think is really good because Pokemon's really bad at that. As we just saw, we just saw two god Pokemon and they weren't that much taller than a, a, an 11 year old kid. <laughs> so you would definitely have Levitate so I can't Earthquake. Um, let's just do the head smash. Screw it.
Get him, Tyrantrum. Yikes. Adelmize. Um... Let's go Marshall. I would go Fozzie, but Fozzie is getting low on some PP. And we can spread the love around. <sighs> I'm sorry I keep yawning. I should have had coffee. Delmize is probably my second or third favorite Gen 7 Pokemon. I love Delmize, and I don't know why. I guess we're staying. Okay. So. If you're... I think wing attack is just my safest bet. Because it'll do solid damage against any of them. If it mega evolves or if it doesn't. But if it mega evolves into... Uh, mega Mewtwo X. Fury Cutter is going to do nothing. So I'll wing attack. It is X. Okay. So, hopefully we live, we, we'll live what he does, right? Right? Guard swap, alright, that's fine. Thank you? Oh, all changes to its attack. Alright. That was a really uneventful Mega Mewtwo. <laughs> a Bayonet. No, we'll go back to Bully. Okay, cool. I was worried for a second that it might be faster than me and then just click Destiny Bond turn one. But no, we're good. I'm not giving up. Even though you beat me, I'm part of Team Skull. We're thick as anything. That's enough. No one wants to see a sore loser. Hey, girl. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hmm. You, girly. Lily, right? You really ready to do this, finally? To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even if I was just doing the work that the president told me to do, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me, though. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who ever seemed to see how strong he was. The president. My mother is... She's selfish. She, lavish, she lavishes her love only on those who she deems worthy, not caring whether it's wanted or not. But I will save her. I still have something I need to tell her. And I think I can save Guzma as well. You know... Deep down, you're kind of like the president. You've gone in a different direction, but I can tell you have the same, the same strength in your convictions. Bring, bring Guzma back if you can. I know you've, you've got no reason to help, but no one can make up for what they've done, but what they've done if, if they're gone. 
Maybe it's maybe this whole scene's different in Ultrasound Ultra Moon. Maybe that's what I'm remembering. And you, Gavin. Looks like you were special after all. You just didn't you didn't just stand up to Team Skull. You even took on the darkness inside Aether. Looks like you're the real deal. The realest Pokemon trainer I've seen around. Take good care of little princess here. This is my way of saying sorry, okay? Take it. It's Poison EMZ. Alright. Oh, yeah. You got your first stone directly from Tapu Koko, didn't you, Gavin? You better take care of it. That's one special Z-ring you've got there. A trainer is only a trainer because of the Pokemon with them. If you ever forget that, you'll bring the wrath of the Tapu down upon yourself. You should be fine, though. I'm out of here. What a good, what good character development. I suppose even Team Skull is not all bad. Thanks for helping me ga again, Gavin. And here, let me thank your team too. Jack, Jack, no. All right, Gavin, let's go to the altar. We're getting married. The Vast Pony Canyon lies ahead of us. Lies ahead of you. I gotta go back to the Pokemon Center. And I, I could use a cool coin to revive Jack. We haven't done that in a while. But being that we only have two of them, I don't know if that's the smartest idea. We'll see what we'll see what our options are. So, a physical water type. So, what what is the rest of our team weak to? We have a big ground weakness in Arcanine, Tyrantrum, and um, Agron. We have two, we have a resist and an immunity. So, I guess that kind of makes up for it, but not really. Um... I want something that's not weak to flying. Because we don't have that much of a problem with it anymore. But I don't want to continue that. I could add Sharpedo. But Sharpedo is way too frail, in my opinion. I don't really want to add Metagross because it's another ground weakness. Um, let's put you over here, so I don't confuse you with the living Pokemon. Um, not you, you're trash. Um, hmm. Most of my Pokemon are physical, so a special attacker wouldn't be bad. I'm kind of liking this Smoochum, if I'm being honest. It's already level 50. We just need to level it up once and it'll evolve into a Jinx, which is, again, like I, like I said when I caught it, it's not a bad Pokemon at all. We just need to give it good moves. Um, so let's see what Smoochum can learn. Can learn Rock Racker. <laughs> um, cannot learn Ice Burn. That's sad. Can't learn Solar Beam. It learns Freeze Dry. I, I'll probably... Yeah, I'll teach you that. I was going to rid of Avalanche. Avalanche is not good. Um... Any special move, really. Hmm. Let's evolve you and then see if you can learn Ice Burn. So, real quick, let's just put you at the front of the party.
And then we do have a rare candy, but I don't know. I feel like I want to save that. We can just go fight a trainer. Hello. Pokemon trainer's feelings, blah, 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 blah. From a female ace trainer to a male ace trainer. Interesting. Alright. You're level 54. What do I actually have for this? What level do you get Tail Glow? That's unfortunate. Um, I guess we just have to click flamethrower. Yikes. That was scary. Oh, Ritual gets boosted experience because uh, it's past its evolution level. That's right. <coughs> what, what did it say this was? A Kangaskhan, right? Outrage. I think I'm pretty comfortable going to Talos. I don't think it knows any fighting moves by level up. I hope I'm not wrong. Sucker Punch. Alright, that's fine. And we see that it's not Mega, so that's actually really nice. That did nothing. Are you kidding me? Did I really just get Endure Reversaled? I don't understand this AI. Like, it's a four times effective move. Why would they not click that turn one? That's that's my thinking. And like, in the back of my mind, I knew that Kangaskhan got reversal at some point. But for, okay, I just don't understand that at all. Let's go Marshall. I guess we're adding Metagross now. You know, Rachel, we didn't have to level up too much, but we will have to we will definitely have to grind out with Metagross. That just makes me sad, man. Is that there was no need for that? Because, like, you know, getting outsped by Dialga, that's... I don't really think that's my fault. I didn't think it would outspeed me, genuinely. But, like, now that just makes me mad. Uh, 
We lost two great team members today. Do I add Metagross? I feel like I kind of have to. Having a Steel type is just so nice. All right. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Let's see what Metagross can learn. It looks like basically nothing. Learn to Giga Drain. All right. Learn to Sing. That'd be a sight. Boom burst. Literally nothing good. Learn lunge. Alright, I'll teach you lunge. That's not a bad move. Uh, I'll give her a miracle eye. We don't need that. Rock wrecker. <laughs> um, do we have the Psyche MZ yet? I don't think we do. Oh, that's not the right button. Um, where do you even get the Psyche MZ? Hmm. Because if we had Psyche MZ, I would absolutely give that to Metagross. was a very anti-productive episode so we'll get Rachel screw it I'm just gonna use that rare candy um I have two rare candies all right Rachel's defense is atrocious definitely had a Jinx before. Like in a different playthrough. Alright, let's look at your stats. God, your defense is abysmal. Um, but your attacks, your special attack's pretty good, your speed's pretty good. I mean, actually no. Well, you are quite a bit below these guys, and you're not EV'd at all. So I guess that's kind of understandable. But um, Let's see what TMs you can learn now. Because it does change. Still not Iceburn. That sucks. Um, Sweet Kiss you can learn. Ominous Wind you can learn. Sludge Wave. I'll teach you that. Combat. Good. Um, can learn Fake Out. That's not terrible. Um, yeah, nothing great. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Alright, well. I'll get those who level up off screen, I guess. I'm, j I'm just so sad, man. Jack and Talos, I think... Let me look. I think they've been with us. I think they're the, Yeah, they're the two that have been with us the longest. Marshall might be close. Marshall definitely is still now the longest reigning member on the team. But... Man. I have so much sadness. Alright, well, yeah, we'll get... I, I think I want to shoot for level 60. I, I think most of my other Pokemon will get there just by switch training anyway. Um, we'll, we'll see where Metagross ends up. But, 
thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please, please, please like and or subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at CoolTrainerGav. And until next time, smile later. Thank you.